All right, hey, what's up, guys? Gratuitous here. Um, this is my first time recording like this. I got a different little setup here. And um, so what I'm currently doing is I'm going in through my plugin database and I'm setting it up on a couple other computers. So I usually have like my main studio where I make beats, but I'm setting up one on by a real piano, I'm setting up FL Studio there. And um, I'm currently just on like a laptop right now. This is usually like where I do my business work, but I want to set up FL Studio on here as well. As you can see, I have it now installed. Um, and we're going to be getting into something cool in this video. Um, so what's happening for me, guys, is this. Inside the plugin database, so inside of effects is where FL Studio stores all their stuff and same in within generators. And I personally remove all their stuff and I just create my own little folder and I keep this folder called my generators and my effects. I keep that backed up, but you can see what's going on is that there's duplicates everywhere. We have my effects, go to EQ. So EQ, um, I was playing around with it and I figured out what the problem was. The problem is that the PNG file is visible. You can see inside my generators, there's controller, drums, instruments, and controller, drum, instruments, all that kind of stuff, okay? So you can organize this by, in the plugin database, if you, let's say, click on effects, this is a, an effect compressor. There is a difference between an effect and a generator. So just quickly, if you want to add a plugin into here, let's just say we are on the compressor. So that is a dynamic plugin. And you can see it's all duplicated. If I want to do this, you just come here and you're going to go add. And you can see these are like my plugins. I don't use too many plugins. I use, I really like FabFilter. I recommend FabFilter all the time to you guys. Here is the Fruity Limiter, the Fruity Soft Clipper, uh, Maximus. I don't use too much, but it's so powerful. Very, very powerful plugin. Rough Rider is a cool one. I think this is free. I always, I always just kind of keep it around. This is a very aggressive plugin. That's all you have to do to add the plugin in. So we're in Dynamics. Come here, go add to plugin database, okay? Now, once you've done all that stuff, where do you find these files and how do you organize them, okay? What you're going to do is inside your documents, okay? And this is the same for Windows and Mac, I believe. So we just go to documents, you're going to click into image line. You might have to go into a data folder and then here you go to FL Studio, okay? Inside of presets, that is where the plugin database folder is. Okay, so you can see effects, effects, generators, and generators, okay? So this is what FL Studio allows us to customize as a user and Get an, get an amazing workflow. Like we can set up our generators and our effects however we want in our menus, and it's all through here. So here's the effects, here's my effects, okay? So again, I back up my effects into like my own folder, and then I would just copy and paste it over into FL Studio whenever I'm switching to a new computer. That's whenever I have to do that. Okay, so we're gonna open up my effects, and you can see in controller, how it works is it stores three different file types, an FST file, an NFO file, and a PNG file. And so you can see if I right click this and go properties, these two are duplicates, duplicates. And if I go hidden and go apply, it instantly removes it. Imagine having to do that for all of these plugins. Okay, you have to go through each one, right click, properties, and hidden. And it's annoying, okay? And so what I want to share with you is I wrote an article on this if you want more information on it. So this is what this video is about, how to fix duplicate images in the plugin database. So as you can see, this is the problem that's going on. We're, we have duplicate, duplicated images when we go add to plugin database, okay? And again, you guys can find this article on my website right here, okay? Later on in the article, I've left you uh, this path Okay, so this is where you're gonna find the plugin database. Inside your plugin database, you're gonna see these three folders, effects, generators, installed. The effects and the generators, these are for us users that we can customize, okay? So we can go into effects, we can go into generators, and we can customize this however we want. Again, the reason I have my generators folder and my effects inside of there is when this plugin database first came out, FL Studio would keep adding plugins in here whenever you'd update and it kind of threw off my workflow because like I already went through, I organized it and then they updated 
and it messed what I had organized like originally. So I was like, okay, I got to figure out a way to keep myself separated in that sense. So whenever FL Studio does update and if it adds plugins in here, I can simply remove them because it doesn't touch the My Generators folder. And if it did touch the My Generators folder, again, I keep a backup of that that I can simply drag in here and, I, and it keeps my FL Studio workflow all the same, all the time. Okay, it doesn't matter what's going on with updates. I can simply drag my folder in. We get our generators right here. So now I'm going to show you how to access it from the command line. And again, I show you all this inside this article. Um, oh, I give you a walkthrough and, and I'm also showing you here in this video. So here's like the command prompt. I'm telling you what you can write in. Again, you got to change your username. And then we're going to be adding in what's called a command and a parameter inside the effects folder, let's say, we want to find all the PNG files. It doesn't matter what their title is, and that's what the wildcard does. As long as it has the PNG, we want to hide it. And then the S means that it looks in the folder as well as all the subfolders. So if this is a folder, we're going to click into it. This is a subfolder. So if there was files in here, and so it would get all these ones and all the subfolders. And so that's what this little code does, okay? So I'm going to click here into effects, press control and C, and we are going to, so CD is one that you will be having to use is, I think it's called change directory. I don't know too much about command line, just like little stuff. And if you have spaces in any folders, you have to use the quotations. Okay. Otherwise you can just paste the link and I'm going to hit enter and you're going to see that now we are in this folder. So originally we started here and now we're here. And what we're going to look for is you see how the Pro C2 is um, more grayed out than the Pro DS. That's because it's hidden and you will also have to enable hidden files on Windows. You can look up how to do that in order to see hidden files. Okay. So all I want to do is it was a trib. That's the command. Okay. I want to grab all PNG files. The plus H hides them. And then the S will get all of them in the one folder and in, in all the subfolders. And that's it. So I'll hit enter. And see, there you go. So now they changed. So as you can see, look, now we're back to normal. And it looks nice and clean. EQs, again, these are my two favorite EQs. If you're first starting, the Fruity Parametric EQ2 is amazing. Um, and, you know, now you can even resize it and stuff. Okay. Um, again, the biggest thing I always tell you guys, is if you are boosting or cutting or whatever, make sure you do a fair volume comparison right here. And also you will have your uh, before and after, right? If you want to switch in between. So in this case, what I'm saying is if it's boosted up, you know, you might have to kind of cut it back just a little bit. So it's kind of, uh, you know, allowing you to get a fair comparison. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that was just fixing duplicated images in the plugin database. Um, that was an annoying thing that it happens sometimes and it's like, well, how do I fix it? And it was just, a, um, the PNG files were visible. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach me at itsgratuitous.com and take care.